Question 51. If a square plus b square equals 23ab, where a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, show that log of a plus b divided by 2 equals to half of log a plus log b. Now, we need to rearrange this equation to get that. Let's do it. So we are given a square plus b square equals to 23ab. Now, do you know what is a plus b whole square? So, let's see. a plus b whole square is actually equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, if you notice, we are missing 2ab here, right? So, if I add 2ab on both the sides, then I can make this as a perfect square, right? So, let me do that. So, what I will do is I'll rewrite this, which is a square plus b square and I will add 2ab here, 2ab and I'll add 2ab on the right side also. So we have 2ab plus already there was 23ab, correct? Now the left side is a plus b whole square and the right side is 23 plus 2 is 25ab, correct? So that's what we get. Now we can rewrite this. 25 is 5 square, right? So we can write this as a plus b over 5 whole square because 5 square is 25 is equals to a b, right? So what we did it, we divided by 5 square on both the sides and we got this. Now if we take log on both sides, then what happens? See here. So let me do it on this side for you now. So let's take log on this side. So we get log of a plus b over 5 whole square equals to log of a b, right? Now this is 2 times log of a plus b over 5 equals to, that is log a plus log b, right? That's the product rule. And this is the power rule. Now from here we get our result which is log of a plus b over 5 equals to half of log a plus log b. Correct? So that is how you prove this. Correct? So that's how it is. So I hope you appreciate the method. We kind of made a perfect square by adding 2ab on both sides and then solve and found log on both the sides and got a result. So that's the way these challenge problems can be done. So question 52 will take a cube, right? Try to do that question yourself. You can stop the video and then see the result. Okay, thank you.